think it's okay to be talking to multiple guys if it's actually that, just talking. Erroneous. Like, you're not. Erroneous. Like, no. <laughs> because she should be single for three years before she even meets me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Because uh, traditionally speaking, the woman is, is the one who's getting pursued by the man, right? So you have to be actually worth being pursued by multiple men. You don't want to be sleeping around with them and call it talking. Oh, but yeah, that's took, different. Yeah. yeah. If it you're took, sleeping around, then that's different. But, right. No, you can um, talk to multiple men, but you space it out so you can actually get to know one at a time instead of mixing it all up. And you kind of start feeling like sleazy if you're talking to a bunch of them and then you're not you know, making your decision, do I keep talking to this person? Do I stop talking to this guy? So it's okay. Um, but yeah, actually be intentional with it. You don't want to date just to date forever or get into a situation ship or hook up. You know, you want to actually date to marry. So yeah. if that's your end goal, then you'll be more intentional about it and it will have a purpose the whole time you're talking to multiple men. You're saying this one, I don't see a long-term relationship with him. I don't see one with him. I do with this guy. So maybe we can keep meeting again. So just stay intentional and it's okay to have your options open um, and just keep it wholesome you know what I mean if, yeah. if I'm on a third date with a girl all, all the other options should be gone mm -hmm. if it's our third time hanging out gone right so if some girl slides on you and says want to fuck tonight what, mm -hmm. are, you, what are you saying huh? yeah. yeah if some girl does what if huh? some girl says Brian do you want to fuck me tonight but you're on a third date with another girl you're saying no I'm already, I'm on a date with a girl, like on a date and you slide into my DMs and you're like, Brian, I'm so overwhelmed by your dashing. Or like the dashing, day after, the day um, after the third date. You guys aren't exclusive yet. I was about, I'm setting up, oh, setting okay. you up here, Farah. Um, okay. So you slide into my DMs and you're like, Brian, take my virginity. I might have to jump at the chance of that. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> would I leave the date? Is that what you're asking? I've heard you do like big labia. Huh? Anyway, what? what? <laughs> oh, sh what? You see my point, though. My point is like, would you be exclusive to her? After are you gonna throw you, this at me? Let's sh should we check my? Are references? you team Audi? What is going on? <laughs> Brian has a fetish for. Whoa, Audis. whoa, whoa! Let's not say fetish. Let's say an interest. So answer my. It's question. also a compassion thing. I'm very compassionate towards women with a lot. Are you saying you have a large labia? Is that what you're saying? Imagine the biggest labia in your life. That girl slides into oh, your DMs. Oh, so you don't, not you. No, she's Oh, I thought, you talk, I thought you were talking about you, huh? It could be both. It's also you. Yeah. Sort of. So maybe. would you say yes to that girl after the third date? If a different... I'm not, I'm not, by the way, if this is, if this is a bait to try to get your OnlyFans, I, I don't pay for OnlyFans. Just saying. Oh, okay. Is that what you post on your OnlyFans? My labia? You're like... Possibly. I'm not, I'm not taking the bait. I'm sorry. I, I don't pay for OnlyFans. What were you saying? You'll just be checking leak sites later tonight. Of course not. Brian, you date, huh? would you 